Well, good morning. <laughs> Um, it's not that I forgot, it's just that I got a little distracted. What I was trying out, and I was going just about to find the, <laughs> was a Coles online shopping app, uh, <laughs> and I forgot to, uh, forgot my password, and I was just in the process and looked up and thought, oh, it's five past eight. I did go down a rabbit hole, so sorry. <laughs> Good morning, Sarah. Lovely to see you here. You're first off the ranks somewhere, <laughs> so that's fine. I'm going to get straight into the reading because I have got my volunteering day on a Monday and a Thursday, but uh, I'm, uh, I like to get sort of moving along because it's a nice energy-filled day, isn't it, when, when we've got something really good and nice to do. So tune into your intuitive senses. I'll just find where I switch it over to the cap. Oh, what have I got? <laughs> I forgot the other. I forgot the other camera. And I haven't lined it up yet either for all that. Oh, not too bad, is it? <laughs> not too bad. Not too bad. Here we go. There we go. Now I've got to put the that card there. There we go. Beautiful set of cards this morning. Well, at least I think so. So what we've got with our our card. And I will just put myself more centred because I was doing stuff yesterday with arty things. I had to shrink myself down. It would be good if it was that easy for weight, wouldn't it? Um, <laughs> here we go. Don't let anyone rustle your feathers. Isn't it gorgeous, Owl, that one? So I just love this deck. It's so nice. And any time I come into the office I see just a new face with those owls and we've got Kat good morning Kat lovely to have you here this morning and you moved in yet and here we've got Michelle hello Michelle how are you lovely to see you too now here we've got the inner soul guidance oracle deck and it's the wings card isn't it beautiful spread your wings and take flight there are no limitations the only limitation that we have is us, our own self, in how we actually limit things that happen around us and decisions that we make and what we do. Okay, oh, and this is the cover for that one if you're interested in, in purchasing those. The Anne Winston's website has that. I'm not sure if Deb does. And the Gilded Reverie, of course. That's what this set of cards are, the Gilded Reverie. And I'm not picking them up each time for this set because they're a decent colour and don't have that high gloss. So I don't, um, the light from the window is actually okay now, especially since the front windows have been done. Finished. Here we go. Moon in the home space. Birch broom. Whip in the workspace. We've got the dog in the unexpected. We've got books as our role and we have the magnifying glasses that central position good morning Shaz lovely to see you here I see you've got the COVID done finished Tracy good morning to you as well and to Rosie how are you this morning over in Victoria I know that's where you are and I know Keza is as well and here we go we'll get to the reading the moon nurturing space nurturing wonderful beautiful energy of the feminine and you're loving your new cards? Oh, I knew you would. They're a beautiful deck, aren't they? So bring in that, um, you know, it is coming up for a new moon, what, well, the 6th today, tomorrow, um, tomorrow morning around 10, 20 or something like that. I had a look yesterday uh, on my Astro Gold. So just know that the cycles are moving through as they do. It's how, you know, the events that are, happen around that. It's what's happening in your life it, relevant to the energy of the moon. Bring in that more feminine side of yourself as far as the nurturing. So whenever you're talking to anyone in the family, just feel more from the heart what is the more nurturing way to actually um, give those words out. Um, ha make those actions uh, softer, more nurturing you know, in ways that are going to really uplift and bring forward more of who they are in their real essence as well, as well as yourself too. So it's actually moving us through our cycles, yes. It's not 
mechanical per se. We can make it as mechanical as we want to. Here we've got the little mechanism underneath that represents almost our human way of doing it in my sense of understanding. We like to, <laughs> to manipulate and control. Allow some of that softness of energy of what is, you know, in, in our feminine ways, in what is the feminine energy side of the masculine feminine, you know, the yin yang. So, and especially since the depiction of this moon is almost like that yin yang style. So just feel into that through your day to day in your home space, because that's where this is. It's more about the, you know, the relationships as we have and the way that we live in our home space, you know. Um, we can sometimes get to be too much on autopilot and in that cycle. Um, we have the control over how we react to things and how we act to things. It's different, okay? So take that in hand in a very nurturing way. And good morning, Karen. Lovely to have you here this morning too. Wonderful. Let's move to the whip and the birch broom. It's a work card uh, and we're in the workspace. It's a powerful number being the 11, so anything that you're doing in your space for whatever uh, purpose in the workspace you know in, in those little divisions of what you're responsible for um, certainly keep it moving forward if there needs to be some cleaning out of something someone um, or you know resorting projects or whatever it is that you work with um, I don't know what each of you do so in each of those aspects you know best T tap into that uh, gut feeling, intuitive sense, and really know what is your work. What are you meant to be doing? Clean sweep out the stuff that you don't need to be doing and just focus on getting your, your work done, um, supporting others if needed, but it, it's more about getting your work done. That crack of the whip is probably behind you, not you cracking it behind someone else. But if that's needed, that's what you do. And um, good morning, Bridget. Lovely to see you here. So move that forward. Um, it is an energy. It is what you're going to have flying. And remember that sound of the whip, it, it is a sound. So it's the energetic vibrations of getting the work done too. Okay, and I love the dog. I think it's gorgeous. I must take peanuts for a walk. She waits so patiently and follows me around as this dog is ready to do some play. Have some play. Have some attention given to it. So when in, when you feel that energy of someone needing attention or your dog, you know, or even you, that inner you needing some attention, go outside and just have a walk around the block. If you have the ability or have a pet, um, pay some attention to your pet. Have those moments of play when you feel that coming into your day, that energy. So gorgeous dog, isn't it? Now here in our, our role, this is, it feels to me like learning. It feels to me like a bit of study. It feels to me like it it really is getting in and hitting the books as such. So if you, if there's something that you're wanting to find out about, you need to do a bit of research. So for me, that looks like it's a bit more of a delving into what is uh, information, yes, but what we need to be doing too is applying that information into a form of wisdom so that we're not just absorbing like a sponge all of this info, but we are actually using those pieces of it that really do stick. It's almost like throwing the spaghetti on the wall on which one stick. Oh, not a very good example because I wouldn't encourage anyone to do that because guess who cleans it up? Hmm, done that. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's uh, you'll know what you're needing to be retaining so that you can put it into practice as part of your wisdom or truth, um, things that you need to move forward with. So that's what I'm feeling around this. I don't feel it's the writing, although you might be a writer and it is part of it, the research. But bring it into, um, it does feel like a, a looking at the words for research purposes, a searching for what my, my message is today. Okay, for what I'm getting for you, for all of us, really. So that is our role today 
is taking in the information, like searching for and taking in some information that we need. Um, so it also moves into what is the outcome is actually going deeper, looking at the bigger picture, because what does a magnifying glass do? It shows us the finest detail and it shows us the, um, uh, you're missing your dog. She's away for a week at a boyfriend's. <laughs> Okay, I understand. <laughs> it can be like that. I'm missing Russell because they're away for the week up the shack. Um, so here we go with, you, you can see even in there the finer detail that this is bringing forward. So that gathering of information, even what light shines uh, brings up from the dark with the moon energy, we're getting more information, we're getting more of a closer look. It really does shine up on what we're needing to be seeing. So take that um, magnifying glass, you know, in whatever form, whatever form you need to, even if that's sitting in meditation to actually speak with your spirit guides to have the information come to, you know, sit and listen and the finer detail, the bigger picture might come through in that form that they're actually showing you via that spiritual magnifying glass. This is where you need to be looking. Feel into where you're feeling that your gut fit, gut, you know, the, the intuitive side of it, where you're feeling that you're needing to be going, moving forward with something and have that closer look into that. Because really what we have our passion for and what we have that urge to do and that sort of thing, it is our gut feeling connected to the full body of who we are and we've got to get working on it. So that's where I'm feeling that the message is for us for this morning, for today. Good morning, Keza. Lovely to see you. Lovely, lovely, lovely to see you. So step into your day with that bigger picture in mind to be able to look into whatever you're doing, whatever uh, experience that you have, whatever events that are happening around you and the people that you have around you as well, so that you're able to understand a little more fully and see with that magnifying glass. You know, it's not always about being fully involved. Sometimes it can be about stepping back to look at that bigger picture as if you are a witness of a movie scene and seeing how things play out that way too is to step back and actually be in silence as you learn and gather that information. Like the books can be in different ways, but... Um, know that whatever it is that does happen for you, that whether you're <laughs> micromanaging it or whether you're allowing the full flow of what is energy, each and every way that we are is perfect for that point in time so that others can learn with us or we're learning through them or we are just being me or you, each and every one like that. So... <laughs> The lighting's so much better. Oh, am I glowing? Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> so I've got a halo. <laughs> and thank you, Keza. And uh, have a wonderful day to everyone. Exactly. Thank you, Keza. And I will leave it there. So tap into your spirituality, tap into your connection with your soul and whatever else you're feeling, experience it all in the present moment. And, uh, you know, sometimes we understand it, sometimes we don't. And that's why we interact in relationships with people. That's part of that process to learn and grow. So thank you for watching here and to those who are watching on replay. Certainly spread around that I do this at around the 8 o'clock in the morning. I was going to be absolutely on time this morning. Yeah, missed by about five minutes. That's all right. Um, keep being the best you and we'll see you tomorrow morning around eight o'clock, hopefully on time. <laughs> Namaste. Oh, thank you there. And we've got a cheers from my time. Whoever's on there, that might be Shaz. And oh, I did that one. So namaste till tomorrow. Bye for now.